Here is the top 10 penny errors that you need to know about. Make sure you save this video, it should be very helpful. Starting with number 10, we have the 1999 Wide AM Penny. These are worth right around $500. All you look for on these is the back of the penny at America. And what you need to look for is the space between the A and the M in America. Number nine, we have the 1992 Close AM Penny. These are worth right around $1,000. And for this specific year, you want the AM to be touching, just like this. At number eight, we have the 1922 No Denver Mint Mark Penny. These are usually worth between $1,500 to $2,000. This one is easy. Every penny from 1922 is supposed to have a D Mint Mark. If it doesn't have it, you found it. At number seven, we have the 1955 Double Die. These are generally worth anywhere between $2,000 and $4,000. What you need to look for is obvious doubling. You can see here that the numbers are printed twice. Same thing with Liberty and same thing with In God We Trust. At number six, we have the 1969 S double die. These are worth about 30 to $50,000. Similar error to the last one. You want to look for doubling in the numbers in Liberty and in In God We Trust. At number five, we have the 1999 Mule Error. Expected to be worth anywhere from $75,000 to $100,000. What you look for is on the back of the penny. You need to turn to the side and look near United. And if it looks like you can see other letters stamped, just like that, you found it. Coming in at number four, we have the 2001 Denver Mule Error. Sold for $114,000. All you're looking for is a normal penny on the front and for the reverse to look like a dime. At number three, we have the 1944 steel penny. Many have sold for over $150,000. Steel pennies were only supposed to be made in 1943. Finding one from 1944 is a transitional error worth a ton of money. At number two, we have the 1958 Double Die Wheat Penny. That sold for $336,000. This one doesn't really show any doubling in the numbers, but look for it in Liberty and In God We Trust. And finally, at number one, we have the 1943 Bronze Penny. As I said on the last video, all pennies from 1943 are supposed to be steel. Finding one bronze is the wrong metal. These have sold for over a half a million dollars. I hope this helped. Make sure you like and follow the coin channel.